how much of a player's draft grade is going to be to be, and I, I just, you just stay in shape. It's an endurance match between the combine and the, the draft, it really is. Um, you, know, you realize that those athletes, they've done nothing but visit, uh, work out some, but they haven't done a whole lot of football. It's the first time away from football for a long time for a lot of them, okay? It takes them a while to get caught up if they don't work out. So they, they need to stay involved in football. I will say one thing that will help, a big pet peeve of mine, it might only be me, um, and it, it may not matter in the future, but um, keep your athletes to themselves. And I know there's all kinds of reasons for it, media exposure, recruiting, but once the process starts for interviews and top 30s, keep your athlete out of the media in terms of this. I'm not saying, you know, human interest stuff. I'm saying don't have him tell people who he's visiting. Don't you tell the local Chicago Bear or Denver Bronco reporters that your athletes in there because what? You would lightly to trust. We were very explicit in our letters to agents and verbally on the phone in numerous reminders. We do not want your visit publicized. And we did renege on visits that got out before they got there. Because there's only one way it got out there. It either came from the athlete or it came from the agent or somebody that worked with the agent. So if you renege that trust, we pulled that athlete out of that mix of visits. And those visits are valuable for your athlete. Okay, why is it important? This is a very, very, very competitive game. It's the most competitive sports in the world. Okay? You don't want to uh, flash to everybody what your intentions are by your top 30 visit. We usually drafted people off our top 30 visit, so we weren't real happy when we got out. And so you, you're, you're helping, in terms of developing a trust relationship with an organization and the team, you not getting out, you've got high marks. Okay, that means that's, that's, a, that's a trust thing. We can work together in the best interest of everybody. So it's very important to try to keep that part of the media. And sometimes it's funny, we have tracked it down, and it's the athlete sitting in a locker room back at his college in Wisconsin. It's Chris Chambers sitting at Wisconsin talking to his buddy and saying, yeah, I just went to the Bears. And it's that athlete, his buddy, tells his agent, and that agent who took the place. We know it's not always the fault of the player's agent or the player. But you just have to learn to play poker a little bit. It helps everybody in the process. What's more important, college production or NFL upside? Um, I don't really know how to answer that one. Uh, college production depends on the level, okay, the level of play in competition. You know, it could be one year this guy's a senior and had 15 sacks. He was in Pac-12, which normally is a very competitive conference. But when you look at all the other factors, in the league, and he was right in, and they all aren't NFL players, it doesn't mean a lot. So, for that player, his NFL upside in terms of the skill set that he represents and his intangible will be more important. So, I would say overall to try to even out the leagues and the level of competition, NFL upside skills, height, weight, speed, and athletic skills and positional skills are more important than. College production. And being able to project that athlete to do the things that he can do the next level is more important. Team players are three. We had a perfect example uh, in Chicago about two years ago. We drafted Cornelius Washington from Georgia. Unbelievable physical specimen. Uh, very low college production. Um, hasn't done a whole lot of his pro. But we knew we were going to be patient with him. Then he started to come. Okay, he started having a little production. He started running out a whole point of his back. And he could do it, when he did it right, he could do it at a high level. Because what? His NFL upside. 6'6", 280, 4'5", 4", you know, long arms, strong, powerful. Uh, he had very low college production. Okay? 
So somebody like that in the sixth round over somebody that played in Michigan and had 150 tackles with the fire class, probably going to take them. 